Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, I read something online today. Uh, this video is more for you know people from India, so just want to get that out first. I read something online today uh, that kind of made me want to throw up. So I thought I'd make a video out of it. This is going to be a rant, so uh, warning you guys before we start. So this is what I read. Okay, that India is going to launch a 4G service. So, uh, it, it kind of just pissed me off, I, I mean, I can't even begin, I don't even know where to begin right now. I mean, we've got, I mean, this is more and more, uh, we've been doing stuff, more and more just to, you know, show the world outside that we've got technology, but end of the day, how many percentage of Indians actually use 3G? I mean, if you're online, you're on YouTube right now, watching this stuff, and if you, if you are probably subscribed to me, you probably have some high-end gadgets. Are you interested in some? So, despite that, how many percentage of you actually use 3G? I don't, and I wouldn't call myself as you know, I'm at least middle class. I wanna, I wanna, I want pretty much a lot of decent gadgets, but I still don't use 3G in the first place, because they charge me something like what, 100 bucks for 100 MB, and that's ridiculous. I mean, given a 3G speed, a speed, do you think there's anyone who's gonna actually? Uh, stop using it at 100 MB and what do you advertise it as? You advertise it as uh, play games, watch movies, listen to music Jackass's one MP3 file is about 6 MB so what 20 music files that's all I'm supposed to listen in a month fine forget it forget it I'm not even gonna get started on 3G over here uh, okay let me just switch to something Okay, so I'm just going to talk about two of India's biggest uh, uh, internet service providers because there's no point about talking about 4G when our broadband sucks in the first place, right? So this is the current tariffs in Chennai which is one of the biggest metro, metro cities in uh, India. So this is the tariffs that they have given for Chennai, okay? So uh, as you can see, unlimited plans, just to give you an, a quick uh, idea. Uh, a 1 Mbps plan has a limit of 6 GB. That's when you pay around 750 bucks a month. That's about, what is that, N dollars it comes to what? $15? Possibly, yeah, $15. So that's 1 Mbps. They call it unlimited, but they give me a screwed up limit of 6 gigs. 6 gigs is what? Uh, with 1 Mbps I download a gig every two, 2 hours. So that's like what, 12 hours, half a day. So that's like 1 60th of the time that I'm actually paying for. When they say unlimited and they say 1 Mbps for 30 days, and I actually get 1 Mbps for 12 hours. So I get a boost of 1 Mbps for, for 12 hours and that's what they call as unlimited. Okay, moving on to a higher end plan. 4 Mbps, okay, awesome, 4 Mbps. 900 bucks, perfect. 8 gigs, are you kidding me? I'm serious, are you kidding me? 8 GB is my limit for a 4 Mbps connection. That's 4 hours. Just 4 hours of downloads. Okay, for anyone out there who's actually gonna say that, you know, support the fair usage policy and give me, a, give me some bullshit about uh, a few percentage of users actually go ahead and use most of the bandwidth. So for everybody to get a fair usage of the internet. I mean, I call that bullshit. Either you go ahead and you know give, give us a 512 kbps connection unlimited and charge us the same amount I'm, I'm okay with it or just go ahead and charge us higher do something like that okay guys just uh, okay let me just talk about Airtel for a minute at least BSNL I can live with that to an extent because BSNL they give us an option they give, give you this option called fiber to the home wherein you pay 4000 bucks for a 2 mbps connection but it's unlimited. Atel gives you the same option, but over there they limit you to 150 gigs again, which is ridiculous. Okay, let me just quickly uh, talk about Atel's plan for a minute. So yeah, here we go. These are the uh, you know the famous Atel plans, you know the turbo plans that they advertise so much, and the advertisements always talk about again you know the movies, the games, and you know how quick everything is. But then again, just look at it for a minute. A 10 gig plan for 1,100 bucks, which with including taxes comes to about 1,300. That's a 10 Mbps, I mean, that's a 4 Mbps plan 
with 10 gigs as a limit. Fine, fair enough. You know, I, I'm done with my 10 gigs. And where do I go down to? I go down to 256 kbps. That's 116 the speed that I'm actually paying for. At least BSNL cuts you down to 512. These guys cut you down to 256. That's just plain old ridiculous. And for those people who actually think countries that give you a higher speed actually charge you more. I used to work for AT&T US services. AT&T the, the ISP for the United States. And they charge you around 3500 bucks Indian currency uh, for a 24 Mbps connection. And they also have introduced the usage policy recently and they give you about 250 gigs uh, per month. Uh, okay. And after the 250 gigs, they charge you 500 bucks Indian currency for every 50 gigs at 24 Mbps, remember. But here with Airtel, they give you the same option with something called Smart Bytes, but they give you 50 gigs for 1500 bucks. Are you kidding me? Seriously, that's 30 dollars for 50 gigs at 2 Mbps. That's just plain old ridiculous for me. I just cannot live with this. And you know, though for those of you who actually think that you know US is somewhere and you know India is coming up to it, we've actually been go going backwards for the last four years. And that is what really pisses me off to the core. Okay, just to give you a little bit of insight on what I'm talking about over here. 2007, okay, I used to live in the United Arab Emirates. They had up to 2 Mbps speeds, unlimited. Their 1 Mbps speed cost around 2000 bucks Indian per month. And India, at that point of time, we only had 512 Mbps. Six months later, we got our, we got our 1 Mbps connection and we were, we were charged around 2500 bucks. For people who've been using Atel all the while, it was the home 2222 plan. Okay. The United Arab Emirates had two Mbps, we had one Mbps, we still paid 500 bucks more than them. I'm fine with it, no issues, I can wait the extra six months for technology to come to India, I can pay the extra 500,000 bucks, I don't have a problem with that at all. Till then, I'm not, I'm not sitting here and bitching and moaning about every cell phone or every laptop that you know costs almost 150% over here compared to the states. I'm not, I'm not talking about it, I'm fine with it, you know, customs, I'm fine with it. Import duties, I'm fine with it, okay, some things you gotta do. Because you, you live in a certain place, you live by the rules, I'm okay. Until 2007, I was okay with whatever plans that we had. 2008, this is what happened. We got the 1 Mbps plan at 2500. And then, somewhere towards June of the year, uh, Atel came up with this. They doubled everybody's internet speeds. And then they put something called fair usage policy in place. So, people who are on 1 Mbps connections, got their speeds doubled to 2 Mbps. But after 100, 100 gigs, they were brought down back to their original speeds. And I didn't complain, people didn't complain because you know, it was free, you were getting upgraded for free. And that's when everything started. We, we, we had our plans changed without any information. The whole concept of grandfathered plans doesn't exist in India. I mean, it exists for me, I shouldn't be the one to complain because you know, I, right now I'm on a gra grandfathered plan. The only real uh, unlimited plan available in India, I'm on it, so I shouldn't really be complaining but then again I've not been able to upgrade to a new plan in over four years 2008 when I got into this plan I paid 1800 a month for 30 gigs of 2 Mbps and 1 Mbps for the rest of the month and I've not had a plan that that's beat this plan in over four years so when you've had a plan an internet plan that your ISPs have not been able to beat for four years don't you think that your country is actually going backwards and now, on top of all, you're gonna launch 4G? I mean, is somebody actually believing this bullshit? Okay, I'll wait and I'll wait and I'll wait. It's been four years. Somebody do something? Four freaking years, guys. Four freaking years. In this time, we've got plans like 20 Mbps with 50 gigs downloads. 20 Mbps, 50 gigs is about five hours or six hours. And about the rest of the month? 256 kbps I don't know exactly maybe they, they charge you 10, 10 pies per MB or whatever it's just not feasible I mean charge me 3000 bucks give me a clean 2 mbps connection Two year, a year later make it 4 mbps I'm fine with it I mean 4 gigs and 6 gigs people is in I mean I don't know what the I mean are we that dumb are we that stupid as cust customers and consumers are we so stupid that we see the 4 Mbps on it and we just buy it without knowing what the gigs that they give us? 
Honestly, I've got. I mean, more people I talk to, you know, they're like, you kids these days, you download a lot and we pay the price for you. I'm like, what the fuck, people? I pay for two Mbps. I use two Mbps thirty days, twenty four hours a day. I pay for it. You don't want me to use it? Change the name of the plan. Call it unlimited plan. You call it unlimited. I'm gonna use it. You buy a car that goes two hundred kilometers an hour, and I you you drive it for two hundred kilometers an hour on highways for thirty hours straight. Is the car gonna tell you no? There's a car usage policy. You're not supposed to drive it at two hundred for thirty hours. You can only drive it for five five minutes an hour. I mean, I, aren't you gonna go ahead and isn't it gonna blow up as a big issue if a car actually does that? How is this any different, people? Charge for what you can provide, people. I mean, this is ridiculous. And okay, the whole point of this is, I, I, I thought that you know, sit, wait for stuff, and maybe it'll change. And I don't know. I've been making videos on YouTube, and I thought that I should make something that actually makes some sense. I mean, tutorials and stuff apart, you know, the whole. Technology thing, I enjoy doing it, but this one is personal. This is not for uh, the ones I make, the tutorials I make it for people. You know, I've gotten so much help from XDA and other forums, and I've used YouTube so much so that I thought I can give it back to people and I make tutorials and stuff. But this one is personal. I needed to do this video for me, so I'm gonna label this as you know, broadband in India sucks or something like that. And if you feel that this is, I mean. You feel the same way about the broadband scenario in India? Please try to make a video with the same name on it. I'm not gonna ask you to, you know, sign a petition or whatever. But if enough people can end up making a video with the same name on it, I don't know, maybe a million people or maybe five hundred thousand. I think somebody's got to take notice of it. Share this video if you can. I don't want you to hit like. I mean, I'm not doing this for likes. I don't want you to click on any ads that pop up. I don't want you to go ahead and subscribe to me. Just share it if you can. And or if you don't want to share my video, go ahead make a video with the same name on it. Just speak for 15 seconds, speak for 30 seconds. Just get the same message across. Flood, let's flood YouTube with videos like this. Okay, saying India, the broadband scenario in India sucks with the same title, and hopefully somebody takes notice of it. And I don't know, something changed. Something's got to give people. This just sucks.